bread. We need a woman to appreciate what we have to offer. Freddie Shute loves to cut class, hates to do homework, lives for summer vacation. Look, Freddie, you're a semi-charming guy and a real snappy dresser. You're just not the kind of guy I date anymore. Yeah, what kind of guy you date now? Oh, the kind who wears socks. And the only reason he hasn't been expelled yet is because he's the gym teacher. Oh, Mr. Shoop. At Oceanfront High. Congratulations. You've been chosen to teach summer school. No, I'm not a real teacher. That's all right. These aren't real students. They're unmotivated, irresponsible, not too bright. They'll relate to you. You in this class, too? Mm-hmm. I'm teaching it. No way! Right off the bat, you show them who's in charge. Hmm? Please take your seats. Where should we take them? Who is in charge? I recommend this time, I pass. You're gonna do well, Jerome. I can feel it. I've seen some of your students. Very scary. Oh, 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 oh. There's a very valid reason for summer vacation. The human brain needs rest. I know you guys aren't exactly fired up about English, but we're stuck here. We're trapped like rats. Tension breaker had to be done. Mark Harmon. You need an intelligent, sensitive man who can skate. Kirstie Allen. Do you know such a guy? Oh, they're hard to find. In the Oceanfront High Summer School Class of 87. They're as smart as you and me. You and I. All of us. Paramount Pictures presents a new film by Carl Reiner. Summer School. I love this film. It had passion, a plucky spirit. Dave, I agree with you. Thumbs up from me. Same here. To sum it up, I'm Chainsaw. I'm Dave. We'll see you at the movies. You might think you know about school, but I got something to say to you. What are you, a narc? No, no, I'm, I'm a pre-frosh. The missions arranged for me to uh, spend the night at your frat. Well, here's all you need to know. Classes, nothing before 11. Beer, it's your best friend, you drink a lot of it. Women, you're a freshman, so it's pretty much out of the question. It's a whole new ball game on campus these days, and they call it PC. Politically correct. What do we eat? What happened to the ozone layer? It was last week. Well, now it's me. Let's do lunch. What do we eat? Try to the Port Chester Sports Program, Tom. Hippie Olympics. Sweetie. But hey, it's the 90s. We'll take what we can get. Gays in the military now. Free Nelson Mandela. They tried him already. Ladies and gentlemen, I think it's time to revive an ancient tradition we seem to have long forgotten. You guys are talking about a party. Meet Dave and Dave are on beer. Don't come back. Sunroof. All right. <laughs> What's everybody doing? Finishing their thesis, Buzzhead. <laughs> what? Am I okay on that side? That's good. Play Metallica and they will come. Can you get us in? Yeah, I think so. What happened to that cute preppy kid? You're gonna wear the shirt of the band you're gonna go see. Don't be that guy. Ah! You know, this place is kind of insane. PCU! Prepare yourself for initiation. Try to last.
dead at 21. Wednesdays at 10 on MTV. Do you care where your 
your parents are? This radio person is the whole problem. Are we going to allow this guy to be heard by anyone who can turn a dial? He's trying to tell you that there's something wrong with this school. Hey, you're not hey, what, you, what do you want to say? I mean, come on, Bill, I'm a big fan of yours. Get out of control. Why not do something crazy? It makes a hell of a lot more sense than blowing your brains out. FCC, you know what that means? This phone call has been traced. This is my life you're screwing around with here, you know? Not anymore, it isn't. This is everyone's life. Mark, you can't leave it like this.
In 1985, seniors at Kit Carson High... Hey, school tax, jellyfish. Come on, come on, come on. ...were working on their science projects when Mike Harlan discovered the engine. Oh, let this thing run, son. Unlight it. He fixed it. Unless your project is Dino Supreme, you both get D's. Hey, I'll take it. And he called it My Science Project. Oh, oh. But he didn't turn it in. Oh, wow. He turned it loose. Hey, I've seen lights like this at an Ozzy Osbourne concert. This is bigger than the planet. Is this like when you told us we could smoke banana peels? <laughs> Wait, there goes my feet. Uh-oh. It's dangerous. You could wind up in another dimension. Something tells me we ain't in Kansas no more, photo. In the city, sex 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 in the city. Oh my god, you guys, I saw it on Sex in the City last night. Comes the new standard in absurd stoner comedy. Meet Trajan. Get high. Now. You tried to watch me poo poo. Gavin. Oh well. And Jakob. <laughs> <laughs> Sexual frustration? It's like the fucking cut his ass. See that? Oh, you gonna save the children? Yeah? You know, bong in one hand, your dick in the other? <laughs> Three fine lads who share a domicile together. Our glorious tale transpires over the course of one delightful evening. We're having guests tonight. I any girls? Yeah, as a matter of fact, there's two of them, and they're both girls. When Gavin's two lady friends, Sophie and Svetlana... Hi, Sophie. <laughs> those two are never gonna forget the day they walk through that door. ...come to their home to pass the time in splendid company. What ensues is a fine time of vicious one-upmanship... Gavin! Fuck that. I'm tired of being nice to people. What? You're never nice to anyone. Fucking bastard! Colorful truths. You guys 
You smoke a lot of weed, huh? I don't have diarrhea. You swear so much it's not even rude. It's like an atrocity. An atrocity? And terribly poetic barrages of outclassing one another in order to gain the ladies' affections. <laughs> Who shall triumph in this hazy, clumsy maze of sublime absurdity? Especially when an uninvited guest threatens to spoil the utopian tranquility. Dude, I'm serious, man. Bleach your asshole. Gavin wants Svetlana and tolerates Trajan. Jakob wants Sophie and Svetlana and hates Trajan. <laughs> Shut the fuck up! Sophie doesn't understand Trajan, Gavin, or Jakob. You guys are all Muppets. Svetlana doesn't understand English. I'm sorry, I don't understand my English. No, your English is great. Trajan doesn't like Jakob, Gavin, Svetlana, or Sophie, but rather fancies himself. You are cordially invited to join in the high society. A pot boiler. With buds like these, who needs friends? <laughs>